So we're starting the third topic for the Year 9 Mathematics, which is on measurement, and our first unit is going to be all about time. And the very first thing I want to look at here is just a basic 24-hour clock, like your normal clock and your normal watch. And most of you guys are okay with this, but just a reminder on some of the details. Remember that the shorthand on the clock face is always the hour, and the long hand is always the minute hand, and that there's five minutes between each number on the face, so between 12 and 1 there's five minutes that have passed and also one whole hour that has passed. So if I was to ask you guys to draw on the the hands to show the time, the appropriate times on these faces, we might start with the hour hand, and in this case um, it's going to be pointing towards 2 from the center, but you have to kind of think about it. Is 2.42 closer to 2 o'clock or closer to 3 o'clock? And that's slightly closer to 3 o'clock, so we might point it sort of towards the middle. And the minute hand is going to be at 42 minutes, so that's going to be around 8, because I know that 5 times 8 gets me 40, and 42 would be a little bit further beyond that. 41, 42. So I would have something like this. So again, that hour hand is close to the 3, but not quite touching it yet. So it's somewhere between 2 and 3, but closer to 3 o'clock, 2.42 p.m. The next one, if I was going to do 10.23 a.m., my hour hand should be pointing near 10, and again it's going to be slightly closer to 10 than 11, because it's 11.23. So, I don't have to get it perfect, but we might do something like this for an hour hand. And the 23, 5, 10, 15, 20, and 23, draw them in there if you want. It's going to be some, somewhere kind of between the 4 and the 5. Okay. And the next time, 12 o'clock, and actually we're looking here at 12.05 in the morning, 12.05 a.m. Remember a.m. is morning and p.m. is afternoon. 12.05, well, the hour hand is going to be awfully close to 12, because 12.05 is awfully close to 12. And the minute hand is going to be pointing at the 1, which is exactly 5 minutes past. So we'd end up with something like this. 7.55, well, 7.55 p.m. is awfully close to 8 p.m. So your hour hand is going to be really almost looking like it's pointing at the 8 and your minute hand is going to be pointing at the 11, which is 55 minutes. And you could also think about this one as 5 to 8, that there's 5 minutes before 8 o'clock. That's kind of what I want to look at in the next bit, is the other ways that we can write time, instead of just saying specifically what they are. So, if we look at these ones, let's think of two ways that we can write down what the time is. So here I see that this is pointing at 8, so it's 8, 05 in the morning, so I might say 8.05 a.m., but I could also say 5 past 8, because it's 5 minutes past 8 o'clock in the morning. Looking at this one, I can see that it's between the 1 and the 2, so it's 1 in here 50, 1.50 p.m., but another way you can say that is we kind of look at rounding and talking about the time that it's nearest to in terms of whole hours, and 1.50 is close to 2 p.m., so you could write this as 10 to 2, meaning 10 minutes before 2 o'clock. So we might say 10 minutes before 2 o'clock, or we could say it's 10 to 2, 10 minutes before 2 o'clock. And the next one, um, I see here that it's between the 9 and the 10, so it's going to be 9 and here 25, so 9.25 p.m. And I could look at that thinking, well, it's closer to 9 than it is to 10, so I might say that it's 25 minutes past 9, so I could say 25 past, oops, past 9. And it's kind of close to half past, but I wouldn't quite round it there, I'd just say it's 25 past 9 o'clock, or 9.25. And looking at this last one, it's between the 1 and the 2 again, so I know it's going to be a 1 something. And it's going to be 140, maybe 141. And again, thinking about rounding, how else I could write this. Well, 
that's getting close to two o'clock, so it's roughly twenty, I would say approximately twenty to one, or sorry, twenty to two. And that sometimes it's okay to round. I wouldn't want to say necessarily that it's 19 minutes to 2 o'clock. That's a bit too precise. We could say that, that it's 19 to 2. But I also might say that it's about 20 to 2. So about 20 to 2 in the morning. So keep in mind, you can sometimes write them very precisely, but people also use slang like half past 7, quarter to 9, things like that. So half past seven would be 7.30 in the morning, quarter to nine o'clock would be it's a quarter before nine o'clock, so that makes it 8.45.